Good evening, everyone. I'm Melanie Christopher. And I'm Terrence Friday in for Byron Brown. First at six after ICE raids several companies in Mississippi. The U.S. attorney hosted a news conference. Jake Alexa is live from Lightning in front of the Homeland Security Investigations Office in Pearl. Jade, what can you tell us about this investigation and what we're learning so far? 680 people were taken into custody at seven sites in six different cities across Mississippi. Now we're told none of them claimed U.S. citizenship. Now families are up here looking for their loved ones. A worker at Peco Foods in Canton told me it all happened so quickly when the raid took place there. Officials say these arrests were targeted and not random. Now a 10-year-old boy is looking for his mother. I hope she's proud that, that um, so we're going to get her out. We're going to try to get her out so that, so that she doesn't experience, that, that she doesn't experience, um, she doesn't want to go back to the life she was back in her country. Some instances, some of the parents that were arrested will be released. They'll be placed on an ankle monitor and be monitored throughout the pendency of their immigration proceedings, but they may be released and go back to their home, so they would be back home tonight or tomorrow once they're completing that processing. But each case is individually. Now, the U.S. attorney says that this has been a year-long investigation. At 10, I'll have a closer look. Live from Pearl, Jade Belexa, 12 News.